hello all welcome to our channel so the figure you see here is of a simple non-inverting operand configuration so um, the input is provided to the non-inverting input and then um, you see the feedback over the inverting amplifier so what we used here is an op amp which is a generic symbol like if you go to the library you can see here uh, so this is used which has just five terminals okay and um, <clears throat> uh, there are no other pins except input output and the power supply related pins so this is the model that is used and then we just connected a supply of five volts with the decoupling cap and then the input provided is one volt dc so now let us try to run this when you run this, you see that it says unknown sub-circuit called in. So what this means is basically when you are trying to simulate this, this is a generic model and uh, there is no sub-circuit defined for this particular device. Uh, so that means uh, you can in layman terms we can say um, the model is empty without any electrical parameters defined. So for that um, what we did is we tried to download uh, um, the 741 op amp model. Uh, which is which has an extension of dot sub and then you can see here uh, generally this one for one op amp has a different uh, <coughs> pinout right uh, it will have null offset and uh, uh, other related pins so here this is defined in such a way uh, that you have only five pins and these five pins are associated with the pins that you have in our uh, op amp so if you go to the symbol here okay and then if you see here um, right click and then see if you say pin table you can see here there are five pins in sequence in plus in minus v plus v minus and out so now if you go to the the model here you can also see the first pin is non-inverting op amp second one is inverting positive negative and output so sequence looks the same right so that means we can associate that dot sub model uh, with uh, um, this particular op amp that is for that we have to open the spice directive window and then using the dot include uh, primitive uh, you can um, attach this particular model which we have talked dot sup so let us try to put it here now in this scenario let us try to analyze still there is a problem so why this problem is coming up is basically if you see here this is basically trying to call op amp 2 but we have micro A741 as our input, right? So this is what actually uh, the symbol name should be so that it gets associated with that particular option. So let us try to put this and then now try to simulate. And if you try to just probe, you can see here the output is two volts. So why output is two volts is? because you have one volt as input this is a non-inverting configuration um, one plus rf by r1 which is one into two which is two volts so this is how using the dot include primitive we can associate a model with um, uh, the op amp you uh, indirectly it is like bringing a third party model um, importing a third party model into a PAMP and using it for simulation. So, in case if you want to use a different op amp, um, you need to get the model, download the model from the respective website, use the generic op amp symbol, um, or in fact, any others like example, a diode, a MOSFET, or <clears throat> any generic uh, uh, simulations and uh, uh, you can associate with that model and simulate it so um, hope uh, you can use uh, this more effectively and if you have any other trips related to us please share with us
थैंक यू